Alright guys, welcome back. <laughs> um, I know it's been quite a while since I uploaded the last time and before we wanted, uh, before we dive in into this project and into this video, um, I only just wanted to take a second to apologize to you guys for not uploading for so long. Um, let me just check, uh, it's has been seven months already, that's crazy. And what's also crazy is that we're at 919 subscribers. We're close to hitting 1K. And I wanna thank you guys so much for that. That's insane. Um, yeah, I, I won't even try to like uh, come up with excuses or something because it's been seven months and during that time I should have been able to upload it. I'm back, and that's what matters, right, guys? <laughs> um, so, yeah, what we'll do today is um, create a new project, which is going to be a, a to-do list, and I'll walk you through the um, design and building it in CSS and HTML, and then implementing functionality with JavaScript and eventually uh, animating everything. With AnimeJS, um, I hope you'll learn something. I hope you'll have some fun, and let's just dive into it, right? So, if you want to follow along, oh, actually, um, this is the design we're talking about. It's made by the Cuberto Digital Agency, based in San Francisco. They make some really awesome stuff, so check them out if you want. I just took their design as an inspiration and. It's basically what we'll build today. Um, I took a second to like rebuild the whole thing in Sketch. Um, so that's what we'll do. Let me just... Okay, so... <clears throat> if you... If you want to follow along, just uh, set up a new directory and add your normal folders and files. We'll start off working in the index.html. I've already opened up this file right here in the browser. And I'll just walk you through the markup. So that's our basic structure right there. Don't really need that one. Can give it a title. Just call it to do. All right. And then we'll start off with a body. Or actually, let's, you know, let's just write down our markup. So just give me a second here. So first thing we'll need is this kind of header element with the cross and the logo. Let's just call it that. <laughs> so. Put a comment there, call it header, and let's just start off with a div. Whoops, that. And um, we'll need one more div with a logo, which is going to be a rectangle that we can then rotate. And we'll need a, a icon, a cross icon basically. I'll just take that from here. Give me a second. That's our SVG code right there. Um, I took that from Sketch. And that's it for our head already, I think. Mm, so next thing we need is like a let's let's call it a list title which will include these four elements let's call it list title um, and let's start with a div called list info wrapper um, by info, I'm talking about this one basically, 
which says uh, how many tasks there are and um, the list info wrapper will have the title wrapper which will be this row basically with a title and uh, with a circle which is a progress circle which is actually wrong in the design it shouldn't be like completed because we didn't complete all the tasks but um, let's just leave it like that for now so a progress circle it's also just a simple div and then an h1 with my tasks Whoop. like that and then um, the task count and some kind of like separator right so let's see we would put that as a title wrapper you can just put it in there so h3 um, it says 2 out of 7 2 of 7 right 2 of 7 tasks and then another div called separator like that that's the line mm. Okay, so we got those elements. Now we can go on to the list. Let me just check if that's correct. List info wrapper. That's like the whole thing there. The title wrapper, progress circle task. Yeah, okay. Cool. Next thing would be the list. And that will include a wrapper and then. Okay, so we'll have a div called list wrapper which will include the individual tasks and then we'll have like uh, different task types so one of them will be like the buy milk one will be a task with a date then we'll have a normal task and we'll have a task with a date and that's done then just a task then a task that's done and a normal task again and we'll have different classes for that so what we'll do is add a class of task date wrapper and then we'll add a checkbox task wrapper that will include this checkbox and the task and then another wrapper which is called date date wrapper the date wrapper will include an h3 over the class date Monday April 13th and the checkbox task doom, doom, doom. checkbox task wrapper will include dot uh, checkbox that's just a div and and h2 with a class of task which is buy milk in that case so list wrapper 
then we have a task table. Let's just put a comment there by milk. Okay, just so we know what we're referencing. Um, task date wrapper, then we'll have checkbox task wrapper, date wrapper. All right. All right, all right. Awesome. Um, So the next one is plan week and outing. That's that's a little simpler because it's just a task weekend. Um, in this case, we'll need the task wrapper again, or not again. This is just a task wrapper because that's a task date wrapper. In this case we don't have a date, so just task wrapper and task wrapper will um, have the check actually checkbox. Yeah, you can just copy that part. Checkbox task wrapper, checkbox plan weekend. Outing. And that's it for that task. So the next one will be pub publish Friday blog post. Publish blog post. That's basically the same as this one. As you can see, they're the same, except for this one is done. So what we'll do is add an additional class of done to it and just publish Friday blog post. Add our content here. Date is same. <laughs> okay. Run three miles. Ah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Run three miles. Normal task again, just like that one, right? Yep. Dun -dun -dun. Run. Miles just oops like that. Wash clothes. Next one is wash clothes, also a good idea. <laughs> and this one is done as well, so it's actually a normal task like the running one, but with a done class again. And update database is a normal task again. Comment again, database. Edit the content here, wash clothes, and update database. Okay, that's it for the task. Also guys, um, if you tend to find these things rather boring, like writing down the markup, um, I don't know if that's that interesting to you guys then just tell me now skip that part and just go right into the CSS or the animating part or stuff like that so 
just let me know in the comments. Um, that's it for the markup already. Awesome. So next thing we'll do in a second here is um, adding our styles to it. Let's just check that out. In, where's my browser? There it is. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Yep. Looking good. All right. Um, let's just add our style sheet. Style sheet. It's in CSS and it's called, let's just call it main. Oh, it's called style. Um, and I'm writing SAS and that's in a separate folder and it will be compiled by codes kit into a normal CSS file right there. Whoops, we should take that stuff out. That's the stuff I've already written when I planned this project. Um, let's see, does it even work? Just type in anything. Yeah, so it's basically compiling it into normal CSS. All right, awesome. So, okay, first thing we all need are some variables, some colors basically. Our red color will be, let me just pull this up. This one, then we'll have a gray and a black color. Um, I'm getting these from Sketch again. You can just copy them. Oh, what's that sound? You can just copy them if you like, or choose your own colors. Um, I then like to add some global styles to all the elements. Whoops. Margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, should be border box. Our font family will be Futura, font weight bold, and our standard color will just be black. Then we'll add another class, which is called Flex Center made up of display flags, justify content center, and align items center. I'll just add this class so we can extend it later with SAS and it will be simply added into the element that, we'll, uh, that we extend it to. Um, I'll show you that later when we need it. Um, we'll then start off with body set the height to 100 viewport height units with will be 100 viewport width units and let me see okay um What we'll need is, oh, actually, okay, um, oh, <laughs> typo again, yeah, that's what we want. Um, and we can now use flex center, we'll just write add extend dot flex center, the name of the class that we want to extend, 
and if we take a look at it in the styles.css you can see that the body will just be added in right here so it will take over these styles as well it's just a way to like keep our CSS a little more neat um, also we need flex direction column awesome that's looking a little more like a list no actually it doesn't but okay <laughs> um, let's just go on with the header and the logo dot header will have doom doom or sketch okay header okay so we'll need a width of 100 if you put width units because it's like the whole width then we need a height that's 130 pixels we again need display flex justify content in this case will be space between and we also need a line item center and some padding to the left and right of 12% I wrote down these uh, like these values when I plan out the project so you can just take them and we don't have to bother with them a lot okay that's already working we just don't have the logo yet um, so let's do the logo height 18 pixels width is the same thing and background color will be whoops color will be our black and we will transform rotate 45 degrees Let's see boom working awesome cool mm -hmm. so next up is the checkbox and the task itself yeah okay let's yeah let's skip the title part for now and go on with the list and then we'll do that later okay so checkbox and task checkbox task wrapper let's do that one it needs display flex and align items center okay then let's create a checkbox height and width will be 13 pixels then we'll have border 2 pixels solid and d4 okay d4 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 border radius will be four pixels and margin right 20 pixels let's check that a little bit. yeah awesome that's looking good um next up is the task itself i guess 
need a different font weight. Let's just write normal and font size 15 pixels. Mm, much better. Okay, and last but not least, the date. We'll have font weight normal again. Font size will be a little smaller. And color will be gray in this case. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's coming together. So now we can do the list info wrapper. Alright. Let's write down list info wrapper. And again, list info wrapper. We'll need padding to the left of 45 pixels. I don't know why I used pixels again instead of percentages like in the header, but well, whatever. Just try to be like consistent. That's actually better. And flex one. Let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> It's not what I expected. Just give me a second here. Okay, um, let's add another, another comment tasks and do dot list wrapper dot list wrapper and give it flex three and width of 100 gigabyte width units. Let's check it out. Okay. Yeah, that's looking better. Um, but let's just go ahead here. Task. Okay, so title wrapper is the next thing we need. Title wrapper will need display flex again and uh, align items center and the h1 inside the title wrapper which is this one here needs font size of 27 pixels and the color of black like that Okay. All right, guys, let's just uh, continue here. So next thing we need is da -dum -da -dum. list wrapper, list wrapper, list wrapper. Oh, okay, uh, H1 task. Wait a second. Ah, okay, so, okay. Next thing we need is the, this one here, the task count. We should Give it a class called a task count and then target it here task count and it will need a font size of 11 pixels again 
of color will be gray again and it will need some margin zero zero and 25 pixels for the bottom and 35 see uh okay <laughs> i guess it's not aligned with the title up there but those margins should be correct um okay let's let's go on by creating the progress circle progress circle needs height of 16 pixels width of 16 pixels whoops 16 pixels border two pixels solid and our red color wait red yeah red okay red 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 border radius in this case will be like 100 pixels or just some exaggerated number so we get this round circle and margin right 18 pixels let's check it out there we go and it's aligned awesome 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 then last thing we need there is the separator height of one pixels width 295 is what i chose there background color will be whoops will be gray and then we need some margins there again um, zero zero oh it's the same thing actually see awesome very good i feel like we need some more margin right there between the two let's check neither of those has it Well, and let's just add a little margin there. Da -dum -da -dum. To the. Da -da, let me see. Let's try it on the title. Margin bottom 10 pixels. Oh, come on, I need that right there. Okay, wait a second. Oh no, that does not really work the way I want it to, because it would move the other objects around. Or elements, not objects. Um, and the task count, maybe give it 10 pixels. That's better. And then take 10 pixels. Wait a second. Oh, you know, that's not so smart. Let's just increase that one to 35 maybe. Huh. Wait, what's... Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I can't think, guys. Can't think. 
That's good, right? Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So next thing we need is the different task types. So, oh, that shouldn't go there. It should go right there. So the different task types, for example, task date wrapper. We'll need a margin, 15 pixels, 0, 15. 15 pixels and zero. I uh, can also just say uh, 15 pixels zero like that, and padding left of 45 pixels. Then the date element will also need some margin. Seven pixels, zero zero and 34 pixels. Then we'll need the done class, which we use here for example. So the done class will have a background, which is a linear gradient to write from Let's get those colors from that color to white, like that. Padding bottom 15 pixels uh, and padding top 15 pixels as well. So just like that, padding. Margin bottom 15 pixels as well. And that is maybe it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's turn that off. What's, what's missing there? The padding left is missing. We added padding left somewhere, it's there. Where is the task wrapper? Do we have it? No. Task wrapper, task date wrapper. Let's add that task wrapper also needs padding left, 45 pixels. Huh? What's missing there? The task wrapper, this one, this one, and this one, task date wrapper is this one and this one. No. This. Task wrapper and task date wrapper. Why does this one not? Oh.
because it's taking it doesn't work on the done ones because those take the padding from the dot done class so what we can do there is they have 15 15 pixels zero so we can add 45 pixels there that's it but it's still not entirely correct because we are missing margin right there the task wrapper margin bottom 15 pixels Mm-hmm, 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 that's looking good. Just one thing is entirely off, and that's the spacing right there. And that's... The separator needs, or it doesn't need, the margin. Let's see. Who? List info wrapper. Didn't we give it height? List info wrapper, padding left, flex one, flex, flex one might be. It's just. Flex one. Let's give the list wrapper flex four. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, not sure if I'm happy with that. Uh, oh. Header. Okay, the header has a fixed height. Then, we have a list in front of it with flex 1. The list in front of it with flex 4. <laughs> That's kind of cheating, but let's do flex 4.5. Is that okay? I mean, it's okay. Right? Yep, looking good, I think. I think I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's check it out on like different screen sizes there. S5, yeah, okay, that's basically the same thing as four. Yeah, okay, it might need some adjusting there. Well, yeah, okay. Okay, but it works generally, and I mean, like, <laughs> we're not building an app that's going to be published, so let's just stick with that, and um, actually, there's still one thing missing, right? It's the add button, um, although I'm not sure about the add button yet, because when we build that app, we want to be able to add, like, new tasks tasks with uh, JavaScript and to do that it might actually be simpler to just have like an input field there instead of a, a button because we would have to like let a new screen pop up and things like that and I'm not sure if that's like too much um, so I think we'll leave it at that for now 
and uh, continue in the next video where we'll probably maybe do some adjustments to this and um, go on with JavaScript, I think, or animating first. Not sure about it yet, but we'll see. And um, I hope that I can bring out that video pretty soon as well. And yeah, once again, I apologize for not posting in so long. And um, I just hope that you guys keep watching and keep learning stuff from these videos. Also, if you have any suggestions, um, or video requests, just leave them down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see each other next time I guess. Till then, bye.